Hi. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about the Be Mind Growth Theorem. Um, I am going to be repeating a lot of things in my videos um, that those who have been subscribed for a while already know or those of you who follow the blog. So please forgive me, but you know, you always have like new subscribers, people that are watching your videos. So I never want to start mid conversation and forget that people may not know certain things. So really quickly, Be Mine is a staple line. I have two staple lines, um, Be Mine and Caracro. And um, Be Mine has a growth serum oil, okay, um, with sulfur is the one that I use. They have a growth serum that comes without sulfur in case you have a sulfur allergy, but I don't, luckily. So um, that's the one that I have. For those who are unfamiliar with growth aids or that term, um, there's a number of things out there that are said to give um, more, more than the average amount of, of growth that you get. It doesn't do anything about retention, but it helps you to grow more. Um, sulfur is one of them. So typically, uh, it's sulfur powder that's dissolved in an oil. Okay, uh, and be mine is no different. So I have two bottles of it. One because I misplaced one, couldn't find it, order some more. So okay, this is the sulfur at the bottom, right? And I, I put it in an applicator bottle. So this is what it looks like. You can see. So I'll turn it to the side so that you don't think like it's all that much sulfur. And you can see it's different levels around it. Okay, um, and the ingredients are coconut oil, sweet almond oil, grapeseed oil, Ayurvedic herbs, essential oils, fragrance, vitamin E, and oh, vitamin E oil. Okay, it actually doesn't even say sulfur on here, but I guess you know that because it says with sulfur. Um, so it's a number of oils and I used it at the start of my journey um, somewhat regularly, but I had so much going on at the start of my journey, like, it's not even funny, like, you know, I had burned my scalp, I, my journey started because somebody burned my scalp and like cut my hair, basically, to like neck and chin length, and I'm not even playing, um, it was short, and so um, I started using the serum. And that's pretty much how I discovered Be Mine, trying to find something that would help me grow as quick and whatever. But at the start of my journey, I was so new with like trying different products and different techniques. I was, I was doing too much. Okay, like, you know, trying to figure out what worked and what my hair liked and that kind of thing. Um, so I, I didn't really see the results then. Plus, I stretched for a long time, so I lost a lot of breakage and stuff. And then my scalp had really got undergone like this trauma from being burned by this relaxer. Okay, so I didn't really, you know, notice it. Um, and then one month, I was like, you know, what, let me just try to be consistent with this or whatever. So I did it for one month, where I applied it like every other, every day or every other day, and I grew an inch. All right, I grew and retained an inch. Incredible. You would think that would make me continued to um, use it but I didn't and there was a few reasons why I did it because um, you can see it's, it's oily you know and so when you use it I when I'm using it I shake it up really really good and I, I shake for much longer than that but you can see where like the sulfur is now like in the oil all right and um, but even with that being said it's 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 an oil so if you're putting it on your scalp and, and and using it, you know, generously, then it always run down my face. <laughs> and that was annoying to me. I didn't want to do it in the morning because it's like, okay, it's going to be running down my face throughout the day. And I have makeup on and then because it's the oil, it's going to wipe my makeup off. And, mm -mm. and then at night, like I was always scared of it, like, you know, messing up my sheets or whatever. And, and then also... If you are familiar at all with Be Mine products, you know that they pretty much all have like a fruity fragrance, okay? Which I happen to love. But, you know, sulfur stinks. There is no way around it. It smells medicine-y. It's not a good smell. And, um, you know, even though it has like the fragrance in it and stuff, it's like the equivalent. Like, you know how when you was a little girl, your mama would teach you, uh you know, don't spray perfume or put deodorant on if you're funky, 
right? Like if you ain't had a fresh bath and you're not clean, whatever, don't try to mask the smell. Get in the shower and wash the funk off and then put your perfume on, right? I mean, I think, pardon me if that's not like a rule across the board, but I think most people know that, right? Because you spray it and it's just like funk mixing with smell good or put deodorant on and it just doesn't work. You know what I mean? It, it's like putting a band-aid on that's too small for the problem. It just doesn't work. So that's kind of what it is. It's like it smells so much better than just straight sulfur oils alone. Let me not even front. But it's still underneath this over. And I feel like the oils have a more overpowering fruity fragrance because they are competing with the sulfur smell. So it's like this overpowering, you know, fruitiness over top of this medicine smell. So that was the other reason why. I just was not interested in using it longer than that. Um, I couldn't be consistent. And so, yeah. So, after my uh, recent mishap with a Scissor Happy Stylist, I was like, you know what? I need to grow back as quickly as I can. And so, um, I've been using it every day. I have not missed a day except for the weekend that I went out of town. Um, and I've been like massaging it in, you know, whatever. So one, it's still not making my hair exceptionally oily like it did before. Like before I would be like, really, I would really have a, a huge problem with it making my hair oily. And I'm feeling it because it's like, you know, I mean, yeah, it's oil, but it's not, I don't even feel like I'm gonna stain the couch or anything if I like sit back or whatever. Um, and like I said, I feel like my hair is short right now, so I really need to um, grow it back quickly. So, it still runs down the side of my face. Um, but what I do now is, one, I massage it in for much longer. And then right away, I like wipe the sides of my face, okay? So, and this is at night that I apply, like after I've washed my face and done my routine and stuff like that. So, I'm not worried about it messing my makeup on or anything like that. Then, I cover with a bonnet. And then what I do now is I put this little headband that I got from TJ Maxx for $2.99. And it's like terry cloth. Um, you know, really what it's for is to hold your hair back if you're getting like a facial or something. You know, have you ever been to the spa and they use those? So that's really what this is for. And I put this over the edge of the bonnet, um, you know, like right below it or whatever, just to kind of, you know, catch whatever might might fall or run or drip and I haven't had any problems like I haven't seen any stains on my pillowcases which I have had that in the past I haven't seen um you know it's not dripping down my face or getting on my nerves you know none of that so that's just a little tip um like I guess I got my TJ Maxx you can get these anywhere you can get these at Bed Bath & Beyond you can get them um, um probably at Sally's I don't know uh I got mine from TJ Maxx and like I said it was cheap so that's just a little tip about the using the oil and stuff like that. So I um, definitely will keep you guys updated. I probably won't give, unless I have just miraculous results, I probably won't give an update on the serum um, for like six months. I'll give you like a three month shot and then like a six month shot or whatever. And hopefully I'll stay consistent that long. Um, because I didn't show you the actual bottle, you can buy it and it can come like this. Now what I will say is that the strawberry kiwi it comes in two scents. It comes in mango and strawberry kiwi. Strawberry kiwi has a, a stronger fruity smell. So it masks the sulfurness a little bit better in my opinion. Um, the mango smells good. But it to me doesn't smell as great as the strawberry kiwi. Um, and you can buy like the applicator just to go on the top of the bottle that you purchased. So that you don't even have to do the whole transfer to an applicator bottle. You buy it like this and she sells these for a dollar. Okay so this is what it looks like. I think it's a great product and um, I like it. So if you guys have used the Grow Serum, I know there's a few people. Um, Jenny from Hair... Uh, uh, <laughs> so if you guys have used uh, the Grow Serum or whatever, just leave me a comment, let me know. Um, or if you think I should give you an update sooner than six months, let me know and I will. Uh, it won't be sooner than three months though because I'm not doing an official link check until June especially now that I got this short hair um, so yeah thank you guys so much for watching I will see you in another video take care and stay blessed bye